And we're now 12 hours since this fire first broke out. And as you can see behind me, it's it's well under control. There's a fence up around it after the flames have been extinguished. There's a police officer here. We're told they'll be here throughout the night as they investigate one, what started this fire and two, they have a death investigation on their hands as well. It was around 10 a.m. on Monday when neighbors here at the Leslie Mobile Home Complex off Gratiot and 10 Mile in Roseville got their first whiff that something was wrong. And I woke up this morning around like 10, 15, mm -hmm. and I smell smoke. Carl Ali looked outside to see his neighbor's trailer on fire. I noticed her car was still there. I was hoping that um, she was gone, but I later found out that um, she was in there when the fire went out. The fire was intense, burning from the middle out. Firefighters did their job putting it out, but in the middle of the charred debris, a body burned beyond recognition. We're assuming it's a female, but the body was badly, badly burned. We're going to rely on the medical examiner to identify the body, give us more details. Neighbors providing Fox 2 with some details as well. And there's cameras out there, so they'll probably get them, hopefully. Clues that police are also looking into. There's some video of the, of the gentleman we believe lived at that trailer leaving the area. This is the video he's referring to, home security from a neighbor. We checked our camera. Um, the playback footage shows the man who actually live, who lives in that trailer leaving with a white trash bag. And then a couple minutes later, the trailer actually goes up in flames. Police say they've been to this trailer before. Uh, we have been to the house pr previously for some domestic violence issues. Uh, we're not ruling anything out at this time, but we can't really say with any certainty what, what the cause of death was or the, or the nature of the fire. Neighbors also describe a turbulent situation inside that house. We could hear them arguing half the time. You know, trailers, walls are very thin. Police now asking anyone with information on this fire to come forward. And in addition, police at last check are still looking for the man who was seen in that video walking away just five minutes prior to the house going up in flames. So if you have any information on where he might be tonight, please call Roseville Police Department as soon as possible. Reporting live, Dave Spencer on the edge. Well, Dave, and we understand that the neighbors have also seen other people at that home. So there may be other people who may live there. That's true. Uh, thankfully, no one else was in the home at the time of the fire, but neighbors did tell me that there are children there, possibly two or three children that live there. And uh, thankfully, they were either at school or with other family members, but they were not inside the house. All right. More to come on this investigation. Thanks, Dave.